Hey guys, Rahul here. Welcome to binaryhackers.com. In this video, I am going to show you how to recover the deleted file from the victim machine and how to copy that file to your backtrack machine that is our attacker machine. So in this video, our attacker machine is backtrack and victim machine is Windows 7. You can also use a Kali Linux instead of backtrack. Use your favorite OS, it doesn't matter. Okay guys, I am using a backtrack machine file. This is my attacker machine and windows 7 machine is my victim machine so in backtrack machine i just run the exploit i am using exploit java jmx bin 2 ok so i need a meter meter session to the post exploitation task so use any exploit if you don't know how to use the exploit just go to my website uh, binaryhackers.com in my website you can see that there are lots of penetration testing videos are available so you can use any videos to hacking a uh, windows 7 machine use any exploit to gain the meter beta session so as you see right here the meter beta session one is open ok so press enter and our session is 1 is our session id so this is my victim machine that is windows 7 machine in my windows 7 machine there are two drives that is c drive and f drive ok c drive is our installation windows 7 the windows and program file all that and our f drive is empty totally empty file so suppose the f drive contains some confidential data uh, that contains some username or password in this machine and the user of the windows 7 that is administrator suppose copy that data to another file or another device like pen drive or whatever so after copy suppose is if that administrator deleted that data that confidential file from the f drive suppose uh, he deleted the data from the f drive and now i'm going to show you how to recover that data from the particular drive and how to copy that data to the backtrack machine so for that we need a meter meter access we need a session of the victim machine so our session one is currently active state okay after that i'm going to create one uh, for this example let's create one file uh, like text document confidential file one and it contain suppose some username and password okay and suppose this file is there a confidential file 3 and uh, suppose create another file that is bitmap images and suppose this file is confidential file 2 okay so right here we have a three files this is a uh, confidential file 1 it contains some username and password this is some rar file contains some information and one uh, bitmap file so this file uh, is in the f drive okay so file contain some confidential data in windows 7 system and i copy that data to the pen drive and other system and i am going to delete this data so before that let me show you my recycle bin Okay, the recycle bin is totally empty i'm not using a control delete sorry i'm not using only a delete command to delete this file just select all this file and i'm going to use a shift delete command okay so i'm going to use shift delete and you can see that i should want to delete the permanently delete this three item click yes and i deleted all this data it's not available on the recycle bin also okay so i'm using a shift delete to delete all that confidential data now i'm going to first i need to scan our windows 7 machine to determine uh, there are how many drives in windows 7 system for that our session is active we're just going to use post windows gather forensic enumeration
suppose. Oh, one small mistake. It's not a forensic, it's forensic. S. Yes. Okay. Now, set session. The session is currently active is 1. And use exploit. You see that it now displaying the physical drive and the logical drive name. It is a C, D and F. So I am interested in F drive because I know that uh, the deleted file is F drive. You can also uh, go to the each drive and recover any files, every files and copy into the backtrack machine. So for this video demonstration I am using F. This I already create and delete file in the F drive. Currently F drive is empty. So let's go to the F drive. This is a total file size of the F drive. Now use our post windows gather foreign six recovery files. Press enter. Now set the session. Session ID one. I'm going to set drive, and our drive is F drive, and then run exploit. And this is our files. This is our txt file, confidential txt file, confidential rar file and confidential bmp file and this is a particular id of that particular file. So now it's scanning that all file and it recovered that all file, the msf entry is finished and this all files are recovered and it detected all that file that was deleted in the drive F but the interesting thing is that if you go to the windows machine and if you go to the F drive you cannot see that file that actually recovered okay there is no record file but backtrack machine see that so okay so I'm going to copy all this file in my backtrack machine and now and after that I will open that file for that type set files and we need all that ID of a particular file just copy this all id paste comma second id after that comma and the third id this is our bmp file and now press enter okay the file are set this is all three files that we want to copy in my backtrack machine now run the exploit see that now it's copying all that three files the first file is txt second is rar and third one is bmp file and uh, it copy all that file in this directory this root msf4 root directory so let's move that file on our desktop copy this a new tab I'm going to move that file from this that directory to the desktop. Okay, this is a txt file, and I hope it contains the username and password that I already create in the file that we create in Windows 7 system. That is Rahul and one two three four five six. Here it is the username Raul and password is 123456. So we successfully recover that file and copy that file in our backtrack machine. But the victim machine doesn't know about all this thing. <laughs> it doesn't know about the file is recover and copy to the attacker machine. And the same you can also copy this RAR file and BMP file in your desktop. So this is all for this video, subscribe my youtube channel for more hacking interesting videos, thanks for watching.